Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall. Where using my SKG discount code leads to a 25% off across several products, making a Windows 10 serial key only $40. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account and all you need to do is to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. Hello guys, it's Shin Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. So as for today's video, we have the new review of the new Adrenaline 22.2.2 drivers. As I say in all my videos, yeah! 22 is the year, 2022. 2 is the month, February, and 2 is the revision on that same month, so the second revision of February. So as you know, these drivers are still optional and not even WHQL signed, so basically not even certified per se. And the last ones that were certified and optional were like the 22.1.2, the 20, the something like that, and it isn't even uh, very normal, okay? And we still have the recommended drivers on the 21.10.2, which are drivers from October last year, okay? So, yeah, AMD needs to put a new recommended drivers and some new drivers that work great in all systems, okay? That's what the recommended drivers usually are. So as for the release notes, we have support for AMD Ryzen 5000 series with Radeon graphics, something that was already here, basically we already have the 5000G APUs, which are processors with graphics, but I think that these chips are different, maybe chips with uh, more powerful graphics, I assume, okay? I don't, I don't really know, so don't blame me. Uh, the AMD Ryzen 6000 series processors with Radeon graphics, these ones, I know that that they are they are ones with more powerful with more powerful graphics and some of them for laptops maybe the 5000 series processors with Radeon graphics are also for laptops i don't really know we also have support for total total war warhammer 3 and we also have a really interesting part here on the amd smart access memory so amd smart access memory optimizations for amd ryzen processors with integrated graphics paired with discrete Radeon graphics can be found below. Up to 24% increase in performance in Assassin's Creed Valhalla 1080p ultra high settings using the 22.2.2 versus the 22.2.1 on the Ryzen 9 5900HX. Up to 23% increase in performance in Battlefield 5 1080p ultra settings using the software 2022.2.2 sorry, uh, with the Ryzen 7 5800H and the Radeon RX 6600M versus the previous drivers, up to 18% increase in performance in Borderlands 3, 1080p VADAS settings, once again with the 22.2.2 versus the 22.2.1, now with the Ryzen 9 5900HX and the 6800M, up to 17% increase in the F1 2021, up to 12% increase in Gears 5, up to 11% increase in Fortnite, and up to 10% increase in Cyberpunk 2077. And that's it. Basically, we have support for new games and optimizations for the smart access memory in these particular chips. And no fixed issues at all. Just new supports and optimizations for smart access memory. But that's not that bad. I mean, we have some, some known issues. Let's just go to them. And we have some users on Windows 10 operating system may observe the absence of Windows Transparency Aero effect while playing Cyberpunk 2077 on some AMD graphics products, such as the Radeon RX 570 graphics, some users may observe an issue where indoor areas appear darker than expected. This is a problem with lighting, something that happened, for example, on the Vega 56, and it seems to happen also on the 570, okay? Interestingly enough, um, earlier versions like the 21.11.2 don't have these problems. And even the recommended drivers don't have these problems, but the, the most recent ones do. I don't know why, but they're there. If you don't want, if you really want to play Cyberpunk and you don't want these problems, just stick with the older drivers. Now, stuttering or lower than expected FPS values may be experienced by some users while playing God of War on some AMD graphics products, such as RX, uh, Radeon RX 6900 XT graphics. And the key word here is some, okay, some users. It doesn't happen to everyone, but some users definitely have this problem, okay? We also have the enhanced sync meme, which I won't even talk about because it's a meme by now, I told you. 
And the last one is Raiden performance metrics and logging features may intermittently report extremely high and incorrect memory clock values. And basically that's it, once again, smart access memory optimizations, uh, and yeah, smart access memory optimizations, no fixed issues and some known issues from the previous version. So yeah, basically these drivers are just for the smart access memory optimizations and supports for newer and support for newer games, okay? There's not really much more to say. Yeah. Now, as you understand, I don't really have mobile chips to test this, if the smart access memory really improved or not. I suppose that the smart access memory wasn't actually functioning before and they are actually implementing it now on, on those particular chips. That's my two cents, because those percentages are more or less what I, what I have percentage-wise when activating smart access memory in my GPU, so I suppose that smart access memory wasn't really activated driver-wise driver, driver -wise, uh, and now is, okay, with the drivers. But still, since I don't have those mobile chips, I will test with the 6800 two games, one with the 6600 XT and another with the 5700 XT to see if the smart access memory got any kind of boost on the desktop uh, GPUs instead of these particular chips. Just for science, basically. I'm your meatball. I'm your meatball cannon. So, yeah. <laughs> As for my personal experience, these drivers seem pretty fine, at least from what I used, okay? But as always, some kind of, of errors may appear after some time, not right in the first days, okay? When you're playing some other game that you didn't test or some or something like that, but so far, so good, okay? As always, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video and let me just put my glasses because my, ha my eyes are hurting. Yes. Hit like, subscribe and share this video because that really helps a lot. Don't forget, leave your comment in the comment section. Let me and let us know as a community um, if the drivers are working fine for you or not. Uh, if you're having some errors, for example, on VR, because some people do have errors on VR uh, in recent drivers. So if you're actually using virtual reality, just let me know in the comment section if these drivers are actually fine for VR or not, okay? As usual, we'll have the side-by-side -side comparisons in the end of the video and see you in the next one and in the comment section. Ciao.